Let's go. Come on, boy. Hey, guys. Will and Basil here with Grayson Hobby. Today, we got something new uh, to show you. It's going to be the new Tiny X series from LDARC, otherwise known as King Kong. Yes. Now this one is the Q Tiny 7X. Tiny 7X. We got it right this time. Yes. Look at that. The names are not that difficult, Dietel. <laughs> this one is going to be a quick unboxing of the Tiny 7. Tiny 7X. With the Free Sky XM receiver. They also make a Fly Sky receiver, which we also carry. Um, we're going to do a quick fly around the building here. We're going to show how good the video video channel or receiver is, um, how good much power it has, and how long the battery lasts. The charger, building charger. All accessories, lots of cool stuff with this. Yeah, it comes with a lot of stuff. This is the advanced version, guys. Keep in mind, this is the advanced version. It does come with a bunch of other stuff as well. Props um, and canopies and batteries and chargers. Oh, my! <laughs> All right, well, what's in the box? All right, so we have the Tiny 7X Advanced Combo here. In the top, we got one, two, three sets of props, extra bodies, white, yellow, and red. We have a prop wrench, uh, spare uh, grommets for the flight controller, O-rings to go around the motor wires, and screws to hold the flight controller to the frame. Extra pigtails, because they do eventually wear out, stuff like that, not that they cost a lot to replace, but uh, these are the PH 2.0 connectors, so it comes with two extra pigtails for your batteries. Instructions, in this case, this is a FreeSky model, the XM Plus receiver oh, wow, manual. Oh, genuine at FreeSky. And a tiny X little pamphlet slash manual, I'm guessing. Yeah. So I guess that tells you about the different models. Yeah, it's the different specs on it, stuff like so that. So this is the advanced package, just has everything with it. Yes. So that's a little top lid. Well, that's accessory Opening that so up. far. Three meter, okay, that's neat. So it's a little color LED, little LED chart. So you plug in your battery, either you get the small ones for like the 6X or the 7X with the bigger battery. Oh, um, so and it'll light up t depending on what your oh, voltage cool. of your battery. So that's a cool little battery checker. In here, which is pretty neat, is the charger. So this is a six bay charger in here. So it's in the case. Yes, and this is set you up can't for. Can't take it out. Uh, you could with. Well, I mean, like it doesn't screws. come out. No, it's part of the case. Okay. I mean, they they mount it. They hard mount. Gotcha. It. The actual quad held down with a rubber band or, or a ring. Um, oh, it looks a little quality control pass thing, and well, it includes pink body kit. Um, it comes pre-installed with the pink, not my color of choice, but. If you're gonna beat up a body kit when you're first learning to fly this thing, might as well be the pink one, right? Yeah. Get this case out of the way here. So this is actually really So go back nice to the charger. Let's go back to the charger. Okay, go back to the charger. I'm interested about So the charger thing. is a six bay charger. Um so how do you put where you put the batteries in? You got two different style battery chargers because they're using the, I think the same case for the six and the seven. Alright. So um well, you plug you, in the batteries there. You plug it in. Use a ah, XT60 two to four cell lipo on so the you side. Literally stick that right in there. When you plug in the battery, if it's a, if the battery needs to be charging, it'll start char uh, the little light will light up. When it's done charging, the lights will go out. That's a so, nice case. How how wide is this case, real quick? It is. Well, let's do center because right there. So, so it's got about twenty centimeters. About the size of a five inch quad. <laughs> um, <laughs> twenty by ten. And yeah. open back up. This is pretty neat because it has all the little spots for all your batteries too. Yeah, so it can hold a multitude of batteries. This is nice. Um, so basically the batteries, you're going to get three with the advanced package. You're gonna, in this case on the Tiny 7X is a 450 milliamp high voltage 3.8 base. Uh, so it charges up to uh, 4.35, but um, it's a high voltage LiPo, 50 to 100 C. Mm -hmm. PH2, um, right? PH2.0 connector. All right, well, let's go over this charger. This thing is pretty All right, cool. So this is something I do want to go back over here. Um, so the charger is built into the case on the advanced version. It does have a little mini instructions on the bottom there, as well as the manual does come with it. Um, so let's decipher some of this real quick. Um, basically, there's two different input types on this. Okay. So you got a USB or a battery. Looks like, what, um, kind of, what kind of battery? Is two that? to four cell LiPo with an XT60 connector. Such as? Ta -da! Now yeah. this one you probably want a big milliamp, right? Uh, the bigger. I mean, if you got right. an old. See, that's the great thing about this. If you got an old tired lipo that's not that great for flying a quad with anymore, it's still gonna be good for powering the charger. Right. Yep. Okay, so basically, you'll see here it tells you uh, six-way, 500 milliamp, 4.2 or 4.3 charger. Um, the default is 4.35. So this is out of the boxes for high voltage lipos. If you want to convert to change to charge low volt or standard lipos, you would have to change some solder bridges on it. Um, but, so so as it is, it's ready to go. It comes with high voltage lipos. Right. That's the way we're gonna run so it. Use, yeah. yeah. So for two to four cell lipos or USB power, if you are powering it by the XT60 battery plug, you can do all six bays. So all six of these bays will work. So this has a six bay charger, right? Six bay charger. Right. If you're only using a USB, like a five volt USB, only port four, five, and six will work. Now, that being said, Which what is, is four, five, yeah. and six? Yeah, exactly. Opening this up here, 
I don't know if you'll see it in the picture, but four, five, and six. So we got one, two, three, oh, yeah. four, five, six. So, so it's it printed in the and in the plastic. It's, it's actually really printed on the board and in the plastic. Uh, yep, I see but if four. you one way look when I plug in the USB uh, here, you should see the lights flicker. See the lights flicker real quick? No. Uh, hold on. So when I plug in, see that flicker? No. You did not see that flicker? I, I see. Oh yeah, I see flicker now. There you go. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I'm unplugging and plugging in so you can see. It. Okay. All right. So with that being said, port four, five, and six will start charging. Now, if I try to plug it into one, two, or three, nothing. Nothing. So you have to plug into that. So use, does it matter if you plug in the batteries in here first, then this, or this first in here? Plug or? in your power supply first. Okay, so plug in the battery first yeah. here. So battery, now you saw all six th I in this case, six ready? Flash, yeah. All six will flash. Yeah, it's pretty bright light too. And then now we can charge on any of the ports. Okay. So, so does, it turn our, does it turn off when it's done? It, the light will go out when it's done, yes. Oh wow, so you can just um, kind of set so it So this is really, they offer that. That's something, that's a, a heat sink. Yeah, look at that, that is so cool. So that's a that's really a nice really little feature. Idea, and yeah. it's part of the case, so if you got the quad with it, you're not gonna forget right. the charger. How many times have you forgot your charger when you went to the Too many times. Yes. Of course I can say that's a lot of accessories you get with this yeah. kit, man. That's nice, that's very nice. So, all right, so tell us about it. Is it recording? Yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't know. All right, so this, yeah, this is a camera. We record no with camera. Here. There's no light on my side. <laughs> so real quick, what, what kind of specs? All you right, got? so just on the drawing board here, we got the 75 millimeter frame. The actual weight of the quad is 35 grams. 75. You had one job, one job. All well, right. Who puts the name Matt Ed over the egg when we're measuring? So motor to motor is 75. Size of the frame is bigger. I think it's more like a 110, 115, yeah. something like that. But they measure from motor to motor, motor is motor a typical motor. measurement. Yeah. The quad, I believe, without batteries, 35 grams. Well, the guess go. I don't have it with me. Oh, 36.8. So the factory of 35 grams. The th factory spec is a little off. It's a little heftier. I'm guessing the 35 is probably the plug and play without the receiver so that's oh, okay. probably adding the weight there there you go um so get that so what's the total weight with the battery let's could, see could come back on that without the receiver 49.9 so it's under a 50 gram quad with a battery um with eight millimeter motors that should be pretty fun that, that actually should be so really what size nice. the uh, just for perspective what's the original inductrix app the little tiny whip style six millimeter six millimeter so this is almost two millimeters that's a huge difference in percentage. It, it's wise. a lot more motor yeah, yeah it's a lot more motor and it kind of takes a uh, the place like uh the inductrix plus was really cool because it had more power to the motors but it lacked beta flight um it lacked you know the props kind of sucked that came with it they kept flying off yeah, they kept I, it like that um, well, good news is you got it down. Bad news, is Bad news it's doesn't look like it did when you first started. The um, frame was okay. The motors were very powerful. It was just very basic, but it didn't have beta flight. And, and anybody like that a, wants to do more hobby grade right. stuff, you do want beta flight um, capability. It, it just makes it a lot nicer. It has beta, obviously it has beta flight. Yeah, yeah, so along comes this little tiny 7X, King Kong or LDARC. Basically, they came through and released a larger version of the Inductrix style frame. So it's a lot similar to the Inductrix FPV Plus, but it's got a beta flight F3 flight controller on it. And that was a plastic little different. Actually does seem harder. Yeah, that's yeah. Um, not quite as rubbery, but it, it is nice so i don't think you're gonna have to worry about the ducts deforming and all that it's right. it's pretty nice material um okay so the camera is 800 tv line um camera i'm assuming it's just a cmos camera i didn't see anything in the specs on that um i believe it's 150 degree field of view so that's pretty nice so yeah, it gives you a good wide. wide angle without being overly wide and getting a lot of fisheye in it um the props now these are different on the props these are not like regular inductrix props they are the hub inside is one millimeter for the eight millimeter props. So that's kind of like what you saw in the old QX 90s and all that. So the motors are a lot similar to that. The props are only 40 millimeters in diameter. So if anybody remembers the old Fat B90 or the QX 70, that's the same diameter as the 40 millimeter. Oh, yeah. So these are actually good little upgrades for that too, if you ever come across that, or if you got one laying around at home. Battery for this is a, again, a 450 milliamp battery. So that's a, a good size battery, give, give you a couple minutes of flight there. The flight controller is an F3 flight controller. It is using the SP Racing F3 target. So if you're flashing it, updating anything like that, it's gonna be SP Racing F3. Um, the speed controls on, not that you know most people are gonna associate the brush with the speed controls, but they are three amp speed controls with a five amp burst. 
Um, I would imagine you might be able to go a little higher on the KV motors. And by the way, these are 16,000 KV um, motors. The video transmitter integrated on the flight controller is 25 milliwatt and 16 channels. So okay. I think it has like a race band and some various channels. So that's, no, not as many naughty channels, right? Not as many channels. That's, that's the one downside in my opinion, but you know, if you're gonna race a lot of people kind of thing, you are a little li more limited channels, but I yeah. believe they are pretty well spread. Okay. And the frame is pretty rigid. You're not having the flight controller, uh, the, the canopy all loose and all that, like you see with some of the other quads. Um, another thing I like to point out is a little LED on the back. So this has the LED like the Inductrix Plus has. Um, you can assign programmable LED, so you can f assign modes and all that to it, low battery indicator, yes. stuff like that. Um, all right, well, let's find that up and fly it. Okay, so on this quad right here, we're dealing with a standard XM on the bottom of it. So there's a bind button, in this case, next to where the antenna mounts. It's right there. Oh yeah, I see So it. the easiest way I found to bind these things, because the receiver actually does power on with USB. Okay. Plug in the USB for power, then unplug it from the computer slightly, so it's sitting there. And then what I do, so you can do this one-handed, because unless you got three arms, it makes a little... This is the biggest pain. All right, so I'm pushing the button here. And then I'm gonna power it up with the USB. Okay. Yeah. Instead of trying to mimic, uh, plug into the little one, I plug into the large right, one. Here's easier. Right. So you got your two lights on. I don't know if you can see that in there. Mm -hmm. The yellow and the red. Yep. 16 um, for the receiver mode and whatever model you need. And then you're just gonna bind it. And then you'll see the lights start, flashing. Yeah, flash right away. So, and then I'm gonna stop the bind. Power cycle. Plug it back in, and then I've already set this one on the computer. But it comes with stock beta flights. You're saying, yeah, later, it's right? just stock PIDs. I was a little version of beta flights to come on there. Um, this one came with 3.2.2, so, that so should be okay. It's get you going. pretty recent, not the newest. Um, this is from November 11th, yeah. so it should get you going. Yeah, I mean, you. Could, I mean, the fact that nothing's there, you could probably update it. But if you update anything, always back up. Uh, do a CLI backup, and what I mean by that is just type in dump all, um, copy everything there onto one of those little notepad files. So what? always a safe bet here. So I'll just go with these little bonus points here. You can do a diff file too, if you want. Um, for those of you who know what I'm talking about. Otherwise, just to make sure nothing gets screwed up, just literally save it as, uh, let's see. Matter of fact, one. we'll put that, let, let put this file on our page, just in the I stock bids. So that way, if you screw it up, you can always just go right here. Try it as it is before you do any update. Yeah. That way, there's no weird settings on All there. All right. Well, that's easy enough, um, right? I'm just going to set the channel mapping for... Anything special you got to well, about this? De it comes default. Some people don't run the standard default. They run like more like the Spectrum does on the Tyrannus. So you just have to make sure all the channels line up and then um, set your modes because... Out of the box, it's just going to have arm and angle, all nothing but angle. I set up three flight modes and arming like I do with all my quads. Okay. So, and you can um, watch other, other videos how to yeah. do that. So that's that's basic stuff there. Everything else, I'm just going to leave stock and see how it goes. All right. Well, I guess I noticed this is probably going to have to watch out. Yeah. Make sure it's yeah. brushed. Yeah. If you update your firmware, make sure you yeah. make, go back to that. That's why I said fly it stock with the stock firmware right. first and then go from there. All right. Let's power it up and fly it around. What do you think? Give it a power to it. I mean, I want to see the ceiling. I mean, the rates are really low, but it's not losing a lot of altitude in this place. That's yeah. pretty good. Do that again. Ready? Yeah. Okay. This is out of the box. The only thing I did is I added horizon mode with air mode, and that's really about it. So we should get everybody to give it a quick light of sight flight first, right? Yeah, I just get used to it. Yeah. I mean, I usually recommend that a lot of these kind of quads. Because you don't want to expect it to be doing high roll rates and then it's way lower than you think. So. And drops good with the extra weight. It does drop good so it helps descent. So. Pids are probably a little low for this frame. Gotcha. Um, this might be a good candidate for the Project Mockingbird uh, pits. Oh yeah, Mockingbird, I heard about that. What is that? Yeah, it's basically, it's a guy that's done a lot of work as far as making the pits try to feel more like an Inductrix and maximize the best you're gonna get out of a brush quad with the Inductrix style frame. Okay. So Man, we haven't done an indoor video in a long time. Oh, I'm hitting myself in the face. Default rates are a little low. I'm really using the full stick to the turn. 
So, alright, through the warehouse. Nice. All right, so I got one. Well, it shows that little So, uh, there. I grabbed one of the batteries I didn't charge, and that's why I got three minutes. Uh -huh. So, this thing probably gets a pretty good charge time. All right, so let's make but sure it's a good time right to show you this. Yeah. Start with a fully charged battery this time. All right, so we're looking for a fully charged. All the lights to be low. All the right? lights, yeah. The, the blue is fully charged, and then it goes lower all the way down. Okay. I'm recording. I'm recording. Been recording? I'm recording and recording and recording. Are you recording. Sure you're recording? Okay. Yes. Now I can record. I watch you record, record, record. Okay. Remember that video by by Bardwell and everybody. Yeah. I'm watching a video, watching a video. This is video, that thing. Video, video, video. Yeah. All right. So now you're in the warehouse. And... I hope I'm recording. I don't know. Ooh, definitely a lot peppier with the charge battery. Yeah. Why are there? I gotta remember. Oh, you're in the rafters. Yeah, this got a lot more power than six millimeter, so. Wow. Get more vertical. So would you put this? Oh, look at me. Would you put this out? This would be a good, a good one for outside, right? With all the power. Yeah, some little out, outside. Like now. a park with a playground and stuff. Go in the trailer. There you go. All right. Punch of throttle really does climb. All right. You know what? Right Here, I'm going to open the door. Come outside. Outside. So we'll see that camera, right. the camera works. And the outside lights. Outside light, wait, one little street light, street light. Oh, look, we got a visitor. Hold on, okay. People. Happy, you see? Yeah, see, fine. So you way out in the parking lot now. Doesn't hurt the fact that there's headlights in the parking lot, though. Yeah, I guess the headlights. How far is it video breaking up? I'm getting a little video breakup right now, but I'm also facing away also from it. Facing the wrong way outside. Yeah. Woo. All right. Here is the video. This thing looks pretty cool. Uh, which one are you gonna take home? The seven six or the ET? Uh, because I already have induction style quads, I'm taking the seven X home. All right. So there you go. Will's taking the pink one home. Well, I'm gonna change it to right. the yellow. But it's a great size for him. <clears throat> the six is probably gonna be like inductric size, right? Yeah, the tiny 6X is gonna yeah. be like the inductrix frame. This right. is gonna be the next step right. out. All right, guys, let us know what you think about this video. What do you wanna see next with this guy, with the 6, the ET125, some speed tests with the indoor combo? Yep. I don't know. All right, thanks, and be sure to subscribe. Are you recording. Sure you're recording? Okay. Yes. Now I can record, I'll watch you record, record, record. Okay. Remember that video by, by Bardwell and everybody? Yeah. I'm watching a video, watching a video. This is video, that thing. Video, video, video. Yeah. All right, so now you're in the warehouse, and. Oh. Definitely love country.